I think you know, when we look at that prediction of a 10% correction this year, it's, it's just probability, right? So if you look at the market back to the 80s, you get a 14% correction on average, 10% is a median. I mean, it, it's, it's very likely. And it doesn't mean it's a recession, the end of the cycle, bear market. It's just a normal behavior of the equity market, and we should absolutely expect it. And we talk to our clients a lot about that, taking that in stride and not extrapolating anything more sinister than just a, a normal breather for the market. So how do you prepare for that? Do you keep some dry powder on the side in case Byron is right here in 2018? Yeah, keep dry powder on the side. I mean, the home gamers should have 20% of their money in cash at all times. You never know when the garage door is going to go or the boiler is going to leak. I mean, this is stuff that the regular person has to always be prepared for. And if you need to create capital, you do so. But I mean, but you always got to have, I mean, I always say 20, right now I'm at 33%, to be honest with you. I'm bullish and I'm at 33% mm -hmm. cash. And what did I write last week? I was at 48%, right? I, I mean, you got to swing this thing around, but you never go below 20% if you're sitting there on your computer. But that's not what's happening in retail accounts. Mm. In retail accounts right now, whether you're talking about TD Ameritrade or Schwab, we have record low levels of cash on hand and record high levels of confidence in that stock market scares. gains in the next 12 months. You do the math. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Although, just to add to the bull case, we haven't really talked about tax reform yet. The tax cuts are here, right? Uh, oh, yeah tax reform, the corporate tax rate going from, you know, 39% to 21%. You know, Jeff, what does that mean for the broader markets? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a real bottom line impact that these companies are going to have. And it's going to be, what do they choose to do with the money? Is it going to be reinvestment, buybacks, dividends, uh, mergers and acquisitions, combination of the sorts? Um, I, I'm expecting a lot of uh, buybacks to occur. I think that might be option one. What I want to see, I want to see a lot of companies clean up their balance sheet, mm -hmm. open them up to future opportunities, especially when the future may be a little un uh, uncertain years from now. Um, but I mean, look at waste management. Prime example, we talked about this just before. They had a huge um, uh, price target raise yesterday mm -hmm. off of tax reform, what it's going to do to their free cash flows. So I think a lot of these companies, domestic-based, are going to have real, real impacts to their stock.